hello guys uh, welcome to my channel and uh, in this video we'll be learning how to update the data into database using php okay so let's get started so before starting please subscribe my channel and like the videos and share the videos so like normal html so we'll be designing that uh, what are the things that should be updated into database html head i can give title over here okay title updation okay and we'll give body so inside this i'll mention this data should be in center okay so here will be I'll mention one header tag uh, so update addition um, of data into database using php okay so this is done now we'll do one design form okay so form form action and third first and post okay so now we have to include the text input boxes so input type text and uh, first we will name is equals to id then we'll give a uh, placeholder placeholder enter we'll give employee details right so we'll mention employee id and then copy this and paste it okay Let's uh, mention over here first name. This name enter. First name. Then we'll mention last name. Okay. So this will be L name. And then we'll mention one email one password password and one simple address and we'll edit this I enter email id enter password and enter address we'll add one more field that will be phone number okay phone number enter mm, phone right so this is a phone number now one for okay. input type for buts button okay submit name is equal to we are doing updation right so we'll give update and value will be value will give us data um, update data okay and then so now the form is created now let's run it these are dashboard run your local host so um, it was a demo demo i gave update see the form is not designed okay so let's design this in a simple and easiest way so first let us break the line let's copy it Control c paste paste okay so it's done go back to your chrome 
refresh it's in order okay it's in aligned okay it's a one down below so let's go to inside head tag we'll declare one style okay inside style we will do some designing part for that mm, first we'll give yeah body okay for body we'll give background color is to white smoke color will be okay see let's check out see it is white now we'll refresh see some smoke color okay okay let's go after that we'll design the input right so we have to declare a class uh, but we'll directly design give the give this input okay directly like how we give for body directly give input directly and design it so we'll take first width is to 40 percent height is to 5 percent then we'll give border is to none okay or you can give one pixel up. border radius will give radius still uh, will give five pixels then we'll give for okay first let's check out for this it's chrome refresh see the text box is aligned like this okay so let's design more good and better way so go back to your code and uh, we'll use box shadow okay no first we'll give margins padding okay padding is to apx apx 15 px apx 15 px this will align your distance okay this padding aligns your distance in this form okay so see here it was in first and it was in somewhere so it will align your center thing that email should start with i'll cancel and show you see i'm cutting this saving the program going back to the google chrome refresh now see your email is here right so refresh see it's at edge so we give padding to be in center so paste it again and just check out save the programs go back enter it so it comes now let's give the margin so it may look separate margin is to 10 px will be 0 px 15 px and 0 px okay save it go back run it see now it is separate but it's not looking uh, it's not been visible that much so let's give box shadow box shadow is to 1 px 1 px 2 px 1 px uh, i'll choose color gray okay save the program go to your file local and up see now it is designed in well manner okay so this is enough now we'll do the coding part okay so let's get started to it so below i'll start the coding okay so take a php tag with php now we'll give the connection so dollar connection is equals to my sql i underscore connect method insert that you have to put local host comma root 
if your username is root you can put root and uh, I have no password so I just leave it then I go to db connection db is equal to my sql i underscore select db that is I'll give this connection okay if you wanted in full detail one you can go to my uh, insertion of video there you can get the full detailation detailed explanation about database how to do it with database so my database name is youtube db okay just a youtube db again okay if you want to see your database connection you can go to your local host local host php my admin okay so it's loading mm, come on mm. okay just leave it uh, you know to connect it right so you can go to your database and create your database over there and uh, create a table of that so you can get that in my video php video i have created a playlist over there php playlist how to insert it so you'll get over there okay so let's go for the updation of so we have to set a set okay that the button should work we have to set a step post off here inside this this value should come this button value copy that and paste it over here okay so this is our thing now here open the curly braces declare the id okay id is equals to dollar underscore post of id okay so this is the variable and this is the id from the uh, see this is the id from this name id text box okay this is the id and now then we have to do the query query is equal to double quotes so update what update you have to update your table name employee i have given table as employee table okay where it should set the fields so that fields name are so i give an f name uh, database name and your text box name should be same because there will be no confusion for that okay so let's enter the values post of f name okay f name then comma so like this only you have to enter the field so let's copy this for easy well if, uh, this is last name last name first name last name then next is email okay so let's set as email this will be email the next is password okay so you have to set password and password okay mm. so paste after password we have address okay if you want just go and check out through your and this password address and phone okay so the name should be same password address and phone so after password address address and last at last release phone okay any phone so now you have to do is that where you have to put where condition like where id you, the text box id is equal to hmm, dollar oops i mean single quotes dollar underscore post of id okay id done so now give the colon that's it okay this is the thing now give enter so after this query finishes 
then you have to run this query kry query is equal query run so i just mentioned query run is equals to mysqli underscore kry query find method query method here you have to run the connection okay so here you have to give this database connection or localhost this both are same so just paste it in here and run the this query okay for detailed explanation you can go to my insert video insertion of data there you'll get very clear explanation in it so now you have to try to the if condition if dollar query run okay so this query run is coming over here okay and open the bracket close the bracket you have to echo echo uh, i will display in javascript so i just mean script script type script is equals to text slash java script okay so let's close this hmm? now you can give the alert message over here alert message like within double quotes data updated so let's copy this okay copy write else open close curly braces inside that data not updated okay this is a simple query so now let's run the code and check out first of all you have to save control s save go to your code and refresh it okay so now we have to check you have to run your vamp server okay so i run the van server and uh, now i have to go to my php my admin over there inside that i have my youtube db right that database connection i should click on that and i should see the table in that so this is my employee table now i have id 1 and 2 details okay so this is the name Ved and this is prakash so i will change this i will update this data okay so let's go check this id okay this is id number one so mention id one where it takes the value so it was with right so i'll put uh okay please subscribe from the uh, okay so funda uh, by ID. fine okay so email let it be that only i'll keep it as same so you can update your password address okay and phone number uh, according to your wish okay so now let's update it data updated okay so it's done now let's go back to our local host see the data is this right now we will refresh the table so it will come yeah so you can see id1 please subscribe the fund of id okay so in this video that's all like you have come to know how to update the data into database using thank you for watching this video please subscribe share and like it thank you